So basically, it's been a while since I've made a video. And I know, I know. It's like, why? Why have you taken so long? And to be honest, I could use a thousand excuses. I mean, I could have been kidnapped. I could have been held at ransom and my, my family just didn't want to pay the money. Because I know for a fact that if I was held ransom, they wouldn't. I could have been abducted by aliens. I could have recently gotten into a car accident and I've been in the hospital now for about three months and I was in a coma and I just didn't remember who I was. Or I could have become homeless and was wandering the streets. I mean, there's so many things that could have happened. But the truth is, I recently got a job. So I haven't had time for anything. I got a job and I started a new semester of school and this just isn't my priority. But, you know, I've had a lot on my mind. I thought that before I get just straight into the swing of things and start making videos, I should really tell you guys some stuff about me. Because it's like, some of you guys, we know each other. And other of you guys, we don't know each other. So I feel that I should give you a background on who I am as a person and just tell you some of my childhood stories so that maybe you can understand that I've just always been this weird, freaky little girl. So, I guess... The one to start with is the fact that pretty much growing up, I always thought that I could do the impossible. What I mean by this is, take for example, when I was really little, my grandma took me to the circus. Okay, I wasn't even that little, to be honest, I was like 12, but that's beside the point. Sorry about this light too, it's sketchy. Anyways, so when I was 12, my grandma took me to the circus, and my favorite person at the circus was the, like, the tightrope walker. Um, the clans, on the other hand, freaked me out. And to this day, I'm still scarred. Anyways, so she just looked so graceful walking across this rope, and I just thought she was beautiful, and I wanted to be her. So I decided I could be her. So that day, I went home, and I said to myself, I can tightrope walk. She did it. I can do it. I mean, of course, I'm not a professional like her, so I had to take some precautions. And I realized that if Mary Poppins could fly with an umbrella, so could I. I obviously wasn't the smartest kid, but oh well. Anyways, so I gathered all the neighborhood children, and I told them about this great... Actually, you know what? I think it was 11. Anyways, and I gathered all the neighborhood children, and I told them about this exciting thing that I was going to do. And I was like, you know what, guys? You want to watch a show? pay five dollars and you can see me tightrope walk and I gave out flyers to everybody in the neighborhood and I had it planned in my mind of exactly what I was gonna do so all the kids gather around and I I think it was like three o'clock in the afternoon or something and I had gotten this rope and I tied it from one tree to another tree and I was gonna walk across and I had my umbrella so that if I fell, you know, I would fly down gracefully and I wouldn't get hurt. The other thing was, I like to be better than everybody else. I'm very competitive. And so when the other kids in my neighborhood said something along the lines of, anybody can tightrope walk, I was like, oh, can they do it? Can they? With rollerblades on? Because this girl can. So that's what I did. I went and I put some rollerblades on and I decided I was going to tightrope walk. So I told them if I was going to do something even more bold, then they needed to pay me $10. So all the kids paid the $10. I climbed up the tree, put on my rollerblades, got my umbrella ready, and I didn't even get two inches across that rope until I fell and cracked my head open. Not to mention, when I picked these trees, I probably didn't pick the smartest area because underneath these trees was a giant TV satellite. So I fell and hit my head on the satellite, and then I hit my head on the sidewalk. And when I look back on this, this just really wasn't smart. But I remember going to the hospital, and my mom said to me, Sean, I cannot believe you decided to do something so irresponsible. What made you think that you could tie rope off? You didn't take any safety precautions. And I was like, whoa, 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 mom. Did you not see that I used an umbrella, okay? Because the tie rope walker did not do that. I mean, I probably should have used a helmet once I decided to throw on the rollerblades. But I figured that if I fell, then at least the umbrella would catch me. But yeah, so that's one of the things that I did when I was a kid, and I was really stupid looking back on it. But you know what? I think it kind of made me who I am today, considering the fact that that was the first time I ever cracked my head open. When I was a child, I watched a lot of movies like Charlie's Angels, and I watched the TV show Totally Spies, and if you've seen them, then you can understand this story. 
So basically, when I was eight years old, I was in gymnastics, and we were learning how to do back bends and everything, and I thought I was the coolest little thing ever because I thought I was Drew Barrymore from Charlie's Angels, and I thought I kicked some ass. So one day, I'm downstairs watching Charlie's Angels, and the movie's over, so now I'm watching Totally Spies, and I realized that all of these girls can do backflips, and I was like, whoa, I need to get cracking on becoming a professional spy, and decided that I might as well start doing this too. So we have a coffee table, and I pull it up to the couch, and I like climb up on the couch, and at first I decided just to jump over the table, and I jumped over it, very successful. Then I decide to try and jump over it backwards, very successful. Then I decide to try and do a flip over it, successful. So I decided I need to make this a little bit harder. So I moved the coffee table like two inches and I jumped over it again, successful. So I was like, <laughs> you know what, I'm not moving it two more inches, I'm going to move it a whole foot away. So I did. And then I jumped over the coffee table again and I fell through. And I got glass stuck in my ass. So then I started screaming because of the pain. And I will always remember my mom coming in and screaming, Oh my God! You jumped into the coffee table? Explain this to me, Shauna. How could you be so stupid? And I was sitting there crying. I was like, Oh my God, Mom. This is the worst pain. It hurts so bad. And she's like, I hope it fucking hurts. I hope you learned a lesson. She didn't even like ask me if I was okay. She wasn't like, Oh, well, you know, I hope that everything turns out okay. And so she's sitting there poking the back of my leg. And she's like, This is going to leave a, blo a bruise. And I hope when you see this bruise tomorrow, you think to yourself, I'm such a fucking idiot. And you know what? I don't really regret it because I learned a lesson from it. I may not be an idiot, but I'm not always the smartest person and I need to rethink decisions before I just go and do them. So another story is one time I was hanging out with my friend Maddie, what's up Maddie, and we decided to go down the stairs in a sleeping bag, which I think like every kid tries when they're a kid. And so pretty much Maddie and I are having this contest of seeing who could go down the stairs the fastest in a sleeping bag. And like I said, I'm very competitive and I wanted to win. So when Maddie got to like, so the stairs like went down like that and then like that, or so like that and then like that. So when Maddie got to like the little corner part, she got stuck. So I decided that I would hop over her in my sleeping bag. So that's what I did. So she's here and I was like, Pshew! and when I did that, I kind of stumbled and hit my head on the staircase and then I fell and hit it on the floor and I cracked my head open twice that time and I had to go to the hospital and pretty much the doctor told me that I was stupid for doing dumb things all the time because when we were there she was like, oh, is this your first time cracking your head open? I was like, no, this is like my fourth time. And then I had to tell her all the things that I did as a child and she told me that most people live at least to be like 65, but with all the stupid things I did, she didn't think I was going to live to be 40, so I realized I needed to come back on some of those things that I was doing. So I haven't recently split my head open or done any stupid things, but yeah. So that's just some background on me as a child and why I am the way I am. Mystery over. Mystery solved. Now you know me. That's not true. I'll probably tell you more stories of my childhood. But for now, you know, a bit of me. And now that I've shared some of these personal things about me, I feel like I could start making YouTube videos again. So yeah, here's hoping that I can make this like a Thursday thing again. Actually, probably not because my Wednesdays are really busy. So, so I think I'll start like making it like a Sunday thing because yeah. Well, bye guys.